Hey guys, it's Rocket Blade here once again. What's up, everybody? I'm here with my friend here recording today. Say hi to here. Hey. And also with my friend named Lewis. Say what's up. What's up? Today we'll be showing off the newest uh, character from Injustice, Sub Zero. Sub Zero. All right, so um, so Lewis, I know you told me earlier about the whole Conor McGregor Mayweather fight, Daniel Cormier and um, John Jones. Like, okay, who, tell me right now, you know, from the audience, who is going to win? The McGregor and Floyd fight, who's going to win the Jones and Cormier fight? I'm going with McGregor instead of four rounds because of his little head, his little core, his small feet. He will be slept. As far as more competitive contests between John Jones and Cormier, but then again, and they grasp because Jones has a big competing. Pretty much a while now. Probably longer than Mayweather. I'm going to lean towards Cormier that will possibly lead to the rubber match later on this year in November at the Garden. That's good. That sounds good. Mm hmm. What do you think, man? What do you think about the. Think about the, the I don't know, I'll go with Gregor, man. McGregor? And how, how do you how you see it ending? Four for a knockout. So you go on the same thing, four for Yep. Alright, so you're here, folks. Both Lewis and my brother Junior here pick <laughs> Connor. Um I'm picking Connor as well. How though? Uh, I don't know. But I do know that he needs to take out Floyd early, because the longer it goes, the longer I feel it's more in uh um for its advantage, so I feel like, in my opinion, it, it needs to, he needs to, he needs, he needs to, like, knock him out quickly and early, so, I agree. and maybe in four, within four or five rounds, you never, it, it could be a possibility, but it, it, it might have to, that might have to be the case, otherwise, the later it goes, uh, the more trouble he might be in, so, alright, uh, call me in John Jones, what's your thoughts about it, the fight, and how you feel about everything, Mr. Lewis? Well, like I said earlier, I see, oh, I picked Chloe, but I didn't pick the results. Right. There'll be another 25-minute war. Chloe, because I give John Jones this, uh, he has the will power, the fortitude to hang around in the course of a fight. Um, one tested, he showed that. I guess Casasa uh, said he showed that early on in the first round against the Dragon the Chile. So, the Kobe has shown to be a much uh, better fighter since the last time they competed. Case in point, his victories against Romo Johnson. Not that many people can say they've beaten Romo Johnson. Definitely, he's in a minority. Daniel Cromie is because there's no one that can say that they've beaten Rumble Johnson twice. And then he's also got a victory against Kasasa Smith. And he's got a victory against somebody that John Jones refused to fight, which is uh, Addison Silva. It was an ugly fight, but they agreed last second to go at it, and it was what it was. But Cormier got the victory at the W at the end of the day. And nice. you got to get confident. Because before Biz being, and all these other guys started getting W against Addison Silva, I think Romeo was the first. And like last notice, I mean, yeah, it was ugly. It could have been a lot better. Uh, uh, the Cowboy Don Cerrone wasn't a big fan of the, the how the fight played his court. You try taking out Anderson Silva last minute, try to pitch a better performance. But, exactly. be that as it may, I think he's a much better fighter. Uh, if he doesn't blitz John Jones early and finishes him early in the fight of first round, I see 25 minute classic. Cormier winning majority decision. In other words, one judge scoring it even, the other two judges scoring it for Cormier. Leading up to the rubber match, the trilogy, if you will. Later on this year in November at the Garden.
Uh, okay, that, that was a lot to take in there, but yeah, uh, thank you for your for, for that, Mr. Lewis. I, I have to agree as well because I mean I love John Jones; he's a great fighter, but um, but I think it's just the, the, I mean for me, let's be honest. As much as I, I, I how I feel about him, um, he uh, he's been active. He's been he's been active, and you know what I'm saying. Um, but unlike you know, I mean he's been being like really good opponent. He, he's not being just like you know, Tomato Can Joe of the week. He's being like yeah. like contenders. So it's you know so it's like it's you know it's not you know I mean so it's like I mean I mean John Jones can still win but it's not gonna be easy it's gonna be like my friend Lewis here says we up really a big uphill battle because it's just it's just it, it's I I know I know if I get asked people the biggest odds I know um uh, what's his name uh. Cormier, uh, Cormier is the favorite and Jones is not. That's that I can say that. So I can say that for sure. So I, I so honestly, in my opinion, I, it's gonna be Daniel Cormier. How it's probably gonna go? Maybe decision, or if he does stop him, maybe like first or second round, like ground and pound, or <coughs> or, or possible submission. One one or the other. But either way, it, I, I totally agree. I think it'll be a, fan, a fantastic, fantastic fight that we, you can't afford to miss. And it, it's going to be next week. So I can't wait to see um, how that fight turns out. Uh, I, um, uh, Ch- Ch- um, Chester Pennington, man, the lead singer of Lincoln Park. I mean, how do you feel about that, Lewis? Like, I mean, I know you're still, like, can't believe it, but, like, how do you, how do you feel about that? What, what, what happened? I would imagine this, it would be equivalent to back in the day when the rock community lost John Lennon in the prime of his career when he was writing all that lovely, you know, artful, artistic music because there's songs that you listen to, you know, that I listen to and I, I say, man, that song is banging, you know, I bumped my head to it, you know, and I, and I, and I, and I you know, and I, I met him around with the the bass and the treble sounds together, the most optimum sounds over that beat, off of that song that I'm hearing. But then you got Lincoln Park, and particularly, specifically, Chad Pennington, probably has some of the sickest vocal range and, and, and rock and rock music. And you know, you could put his his music, his approach to music, as all man, you know, that Lincoln Park music is banging. But I also put it in a separate category that Chad Penny's thing approach to music was also art. It was artistic. The lyrics, if you, if you read through his lyrics, they were their poetry and his vocal range. He could do soft melodies, then he could do ah, he could get in your face, and then you know, and, 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 and definitely bring that theory. But he'll definitely be missing. It was crazy because I don't even think Lincoln Park has fully come to his own. You know, um, I, I definitely feel they had a lot of more more art to share with the world, with the public, and it's, it, it seems similar that he left this world just like John Lennon. Cause I'm pretty sure people back then would said, "Man, John Lennon had more music to share with the world." When Michael Jackson died, we know Prince had more music to share. Hold, with hold, the world. hold on, for one second. Hold on. Yeah. Want to hear the want to hear the ending real quick? Can you get to here? One. Accidental arrival in this realm. 
uh, that is it. That was uh, Sub Zero's ending, guys. So, Lewis, you want you want to finish making your point about uh, about uh, uh, about the ch 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 Chester Pennington situation? He was showing the miss, and uh, I'm confident, just like with any artist, he, he seems to be a studio rap, a uh, very musical or, or, or artistic person. And I'm pretty sure there's some Lincoln Park music that they left up behind that probably in the, the months and years ahead is going to be released for our enjoyment. And I think we're going we're gonna to hear some of the best Lincoln Park stuff to date. Yeah. All right, guys. That that's that's his thoughts on that. Yeah, it was a sad. It's tragic. Um, I did I did a video talking about it as well. If you want to see it, I uh, put a I have a video. You can check it out after this video. I also put the number for the suicide hotline as well because I, I think it's important to put that to let y'all know that your life is precious. Your life is worth it. Please do not kill yourself. I know life is hard, but please, it's it's, it's killing yourself is never the answer. If you know someone who needs that number or or you know, someone who needs it, or you might need it, or someone else who needs it, please share that number, call them, they're fantastic people, um, and they're fantastic at their job and what they do, please call that number, and trust me, I think you'll know, you won't you will regret it. Alright guys, that was, that was, um, now going back to, I know we're really deep here, but let's talk about Sub-Zero real quick. Sub-Zero plays phenomenal, I mean, way better than Red Hood, Red Hood was pretty good, but Sub-Zero was Fantastic! What do you yes, think? It was. It like, was. I mean, the special is cool. How he fights, he fights similar to like um, MKX Sub Zero. Just added in some new combos here and there, you know, to kind of make him fight a little bit different. But overall, he fights and plays fantastic. But if you also notice, when I did the ice ball, and I didn't like just freeze the opponent. It just kind of like it was more like throwing like a fireball, or in this case, an ice ball. Because it would be cheap. Because you, you get, you know, it takes an energy a bar to, to freeze them. Because it would be cheap to freeze them and put the spec to get the special off. That would be kind of cheap. And I, I think another round doesn't want him to get banned from like fighting tournaments. So that's probably why they did that. So what do you think is a smart and fair move in my opinion? Yeah, of course. But um, overall, he plays fantastic. He's definitely worth the money. Go get him for sure. Right? What are you thinking? It was awesome. <laughs> I'm glad. All right, guys. Um, and that's it. That's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please make sure to uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. As always, Rocket Blade signing out. Hope to see you guys again real soon. Peace out, and uh, to the family of uh, Chester Pennington, may he rest. May your uh, may he rest in peace. All right, guys, have a nice day. Peace out.